Charlton Athletic Football Club. Founded on the 9th of June 1905, they have played at a myriad of grounds over the years, including a dark seven-year patch at Selhurst Park in the late 80s, early 90s, but many campaigns and even a political party later, it is well and truly the valley that the addicts call home. A club with plenty of history, Charlton Athletic to this day remain the only football club from South East London to have won the FA Cup, a 1-0 win against Burnley back in 1947. More recent times have been a lot more up and down though for the addicts. In 1998, they won what is largely considered to be Wembley's greatest game against Sunderland in the playoff finals to earn a spot in the Premier League, a place they lost a year later before regaining through winning the championship the season after that. Seven years in the Premier League would follow, with a high finish of seventh and an average mid-table spot almost guaranteed for during their tenure in English football's top flight. The good times were well and truly on at the Valley. But then things went wrong. They were relegated to the championship, and after two seasons in the second tier, they found themselves dropping down to League One. Legend Chris Powell guided them through a record-setting season in 2012, winning a place back in the championship. The Cholan went on to keep for free season, and it looked like they could even push on further. But fallout between Powell and, for a period, the most hated man in South East London, owner Roland du Châtelet, eventually led to relegation back to League One. Chod fans protested religiously against ownership through many, many, many actions as the club remained in League One before, in the end, it was Lee Bowyer who led Shelton to play off joy against Sunderland for a second time in their history to earn a spot back in the Championship. Things seemingly went from good to better as Ruben de Chatelet's tenure at the club finally ended with him selling to East Street Investments, a group led by Matt Southall and Tahoon Nimmer. Shelton fans finally felt the worst was behind them. But then came the Range Rovers and the bitches and the good bread and a social media fallout between the pair behind ESI and Chelton looked like it could be well and truly done for them for a period of time. Relegated back to League One with no money and no time, the addict's prayers were finally eventually answered in the form of a Danish man with a love of rock and roll. On the 25th of September 2020, Thomas Sangard officially acquired the club from ESI. And now is the time to push on. Cholton Athletic, a sleeping giant, ready to be awakened in the third tier of English football and move right to the top. Cholton Athletic has left fans addicted to a lot of things they probably haven't liked over the last few years. But all they want to do is be addicted to glory, to success, to silverware. And that seemed so far away for so long. But now is the time for it. Now is the time for Cholton Athletic to be awoken. Hello, yes, and welcome to this brand new FM22 series, Addicted to Glory, where I will be hoping to bring some measure of success here to Cholton Athletic at the Valley. Now, in my opinion, League One has never been tougher. There's a myriad of teams who have been in the Premier League at some point, I believe quite a few of them also in the 21st century in recent times, such as Wigan and Sunderland and Bolton, as well as the vast majority having been in the championship at some point. It's a very tough division at the moment, and we'll be hoping to get out of it first time. It might take a few seasons of building, but we'll have to wait and see. Opening day couldn't really be tougher, taking on Sheffield Wednesday there, who are predicted to win the division. But we are third favourites, so hopefully we'll be able to give them a game here. Transfer-wise, there have been none, uh, but... No, nearly was. We had an offer accepted for Dumbia. He was very happy to come. Work permit got rejected, sadly. You know, sewer man for trying to have some fun and bring Seydou Dumbia into League One. I think he could have torn it up, but oh well, there will be no Dumbia at the club. So we'll just have to, we'll be making do of what we got for now, I think. Here is the team for today. I love me some wide centre back attack, so we're going to be trying that in League One here with this 5 4 1. It's a decent team in very Cholton fashion. There's been a few injuries. We're missing out on Akin Famwo for about a week here for injury, as well as both of our left backs, Ben Perrington out for a three to weeks to two months, Pavasuare out for two to three months. But uh, back up fullback wise, at least, there's some options in the Welsh double act of Adam Matthews here and Wales' most capped player, Chris Gunter. So hopefully, they'll be able to see things out. And this will be the team for today. Might make some changes throughout, we'll have to see how it goes. But a mixture of experience and youth, which is very Cholton, I assure you. And hopefully, we'll be able to give Sheffield Wednesday a good game here. Lads, no pressure. 
Just go out there, have some fun. I have faith in all of you to be able to make a difference here and hopefully get our season off to a good start. Sheffield Wednesday with a free kick here. Bannon intercepted though by Morgan to Stockley. He's got to be offside, hasn't he? He's put it wide anyway. And he somehow wasn't offside. It was an incredible run from Stockley. Incredible ball to him. But he couldn't finish it off, sadly. Oh, that would have been the perfect start to things here. Sheffield Wednesday now going forward. Johnson moving the ball. Matthews intercepts well, though. Gets it to Lavelle. To Stockley. Through ball to Charlie Kirk. Shot blocked well by the Sheffield Wednesday defender, though. They get it away only as far as Gunter. Who gets it to Morgan, to Deji, to Dobson. Gilby now, Kirk. Elaway smashes it over the bar. But we're playing well here. We're having the better of the chances, I'd say. Sheffield Wednesday beating us stat-wise, but that doesn't matter in the end. All that matters is if we can get that goal before them. They're moving the ball forward. Lavelle, though, easily taking his time, collecting it at the back, moving it to Innes. Ryan Innes moving forward now to Dobson, to Gilby, Stockley. Smashes out wide. Chris Gunter, lots of space now on his own. Gets it to Deji, to Morgan, to Gilby. Let's go with Deji. Chris Gunter now into Morgan. Good ball to Kirk, to Stockley, to Morgan, who moves it forward. And his shot is blocked and easily caught by Peacock Farrell in the Wednesday net. Matthews with the throw on now, deep in our own half, gets it to Dobson, to Matthews, Lavelle, back to McGillagavry, to Innes, Deji Elloway, Elloway, Morgan now, to Gunter, gets the cross in, gets it back to Deji on the edge of the area, smashes it over the bar, Deji Elloway enjoying his long shots. They're not working out for him so far, but I mean, the kids, he's giving it a go. You have to give him that at least. And so far, five shots, none on target, though. Unable to just get a real chance out of this. We're having, chance, we're having shots, but they're going nowhere. Will this end up with a shot on target? Stockley to Dobson to Innes. Moving the ball around to the edge of the area. We're having all of the highlights here so far. Deji moving the ball forward. Gets it to Gilby. Through ball. Jaden Stockley in. And he smashes it wide again, over the bar. Once again, another shot, not on target. It's We're playing well, we're getting the ball forward, we're having attacks. And we can't seem to get the full... I say that, we get a shot on target off highlight, but... We just need to make better of the chances we make, we're getting here, because we're making a lot of chances. And it's half-time here, nil-nil. Uh, i definitely say we've been the better of the team, just looking at the highlights. Lads, we're doing well, just keep it up. I know you all have the ability to make the difference, to make the decision, to make the decider, to get us a big three points to start our season off here. 60 minute mark here. I'm gonna do something maybe a bit bold, I'm making a tactical change. I'm gonna move Dobson, he's not having the best game. I'm gonna move him up top here. We're gonna go for two strikers. We're gonna go for the height of Stockley. And maybe a bit more pace in the form of Connor Washington here. And hopefully, I'll just add a little bit something more. And hopefully that can just help us to, to convert these chances that we are creating here. Sheffield Wednesday have the corner here. Barry Bannon whips it in. Headed, clear. And Saldo Berahino is going to collect it to Luango. Ifora. Berahino, Patterson, Bannon, through ball to Brown, saved well by McGillagavery. And Brown isn't able to convert on the spillage, gets it to Palmer though. And Chris Bunter clearing it wide for a Sheffield Wednesday corner in the end. Which Bannon whips in, headed clear by Gilby. 70 minute mark, just make some more changes, some players not doing too well, Albie Morgan having the best game so let's bring on Harry Arter I think and Ryan Innes let's take him off for youngster Charlie Barker just 
Which these would be better. Yeah, let's go Deji in the middle. Charlie Barker moving out to that wide centre back role for his debut. Hopefully, uh, the youngster of Bar the young Barker and the experience of Arta can help us here. Let's also just go a bit more positive. It looks, it just looks like we slowed this down a bit. Let's just try and keep up that pressure we had in that first half. Try and get it back. Try and make something here. A Sheffield Wednesday go on the attack. Brown surging forward. Oh, and a shot deflected, loops over the bar out for a Sheffield Wednesday corner here. Bannon taking, gets it in, headed clear by Jaden Stockley. Let's encourage the lads. Let's try and jull them on to something here to try and regain that first half energy we seem to have. And it's not worked. Barry Bannon with a free kick finds Dominic Iafora, who gets the goal. Let's have a look at our tactics. Let's maybe try and be a bit more expressive with the ball. Oh, this has not gone well here. This has gone very, very wrong. Sheffield Wednesday taking the lead. Let's play more attacking. Let's encourage the lads. Let's hopefully try and get an equaliser here. Charlie Barker picking up the ball here. Moving it forward. Gets it to Gunter. Back to Barker. To Deji. To Gilby. Stockley. Through ball. Connor Washington in. Saved by Peacock Farrell. That's better though. That's better. We're making a chance. We've made chances. We're getting forward. Matthews with the corner. Headed away though. Time ticking away. We're just going to play a bit more direct here I think. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hopefully get something out of this game. Time ticking away. It does look like it's going to be the Sheffield Wednesday win. Gibson, Johnson, Gibson, Bannon, Gibson. Intercepted by Kirk, but a little too late. Full time. Show on a flag nil. Sheffield Wednesday won on the opening day. A disappointing result. A strong first half performance to really trailed off towards the end there from the team. I'm not happy. I think we should have won that personally. At least got a point. But sadly, it wasn't meant to be. We knew it would be a tough game here. Opening day against the league favourite Sheffield Wednesday. The boys, I think they gave a good, good account of themselves still. I'm still very optimistic for the season ahead if we can play like how we played in that first half against Sheffield Wednesday against a lot of the other teams. But for today, it's just disappointment, isn't it? Unable to pick up a, what would have been a very a big three points. But that is it for this episode. Uh, hopefully, you know, get a run of games going, probably come back. Uh, Carabao Cup, depending. That Wickham Portsmouth double bill it looks a bit tempting, so it might be back in time for that. Hopefully, in the meantime, we'll be able to pick up a good run of form against some less difficult games than Sheffield Wednesday opposed but that is it for now I do hope you have enjoyed the first episode here of Addicted to Glory if you have please like and subscribe for more and thank you for watching